Sportwear. Today I'm taking a look at the Mezco 112 Collective Hazard Squad Gold Commander. And I apologize for my lack of videos lately. It's been a few months, actually. <laughs> I think Superman was my last one. Um, work has just been absolutely crazy. And so this is one of those things that's very time consuming. I spent a lot of time at work on a computer already. So the time it takes to sit on the screen and, and edit videos and stuff is just kind of tough right now. Um, but here and there, I'll try to pepper them in once in a while when I can. And so this came in today and I'm on vacation. So I thought, yes, I'm going to review a figure and check out this Gold Commander, which I think is a pretty awesome release. It's a variant of the Blue Commander that came out recently. I do have that figure. I will show it in the comparisons. Um, but like I said, I haven't had time to do reviews. So I don't have a review on that particular one. Uh, the heads are totally unique. These are brand new head sculpts on this one. So yeah, so this was a slugfest drop, very difficult to get, uh, but uh, hopefully they'll do another production run like they've been doing with some of these figures. Anyway, I really like this figure, so let's get into this review. So this release did not come with the diorama set, but here's a look at the shoe box. They've been doing this for a lot of the releases lately. You know, it's got some pretty cool artwork on the front. It does say it comes with a free comic. However, mine did not come with a free comic, though I did shoot them an email and they really quickly got back to me and they said that must have been the work of the Pink Skulls. They're sending me a comic, so pretty happy about that. I will be getting that comic. I do know that in that comic, there are some teases for things. So just a couple things to be aware of. Go check out my Instagram if you want more info. April 27th, there's gonna be a release of the Mosquatch creature. I don't know exactly what it's gonna look like, but they did say it would have articulation and it would be um, mossy, so maybe flocked. So that's 27th. And then there's a few other things, some gray skull bag of gray skull packs that might be going up. Gray skulls, not anything to do with castle gray skull, but just gray bag of skulls. Um, yeah, and so so this is the box right here. It's the shoe box, which it's kind of growing on me. I don't mind it because they stack nicely and they store easily and they feel like they're not overindulgent in terms of packaging. And they have these nice stickers. And there's another one of this sticker inside if I want to take it and, you know, put it up somewhere. All right, let's take a look at the figure itself. Here he is from the front. I really do like the overall kind of silhouette of the figure. I do think the new heads are a little big for me. Um, they just, you know, the original Gomez heads are big and then these are bigger. I kind of wish these weren't, didn't have that slight bigger style to them. It doesn't kill the figure for me or anything. I just would prefer a smaller head. I believe, and this is just theory, the reason why the heads are bigger is because these heads have battery compartments and whatnot. So they might've had to, you know, scale it up a little bit to make room for the batteries. But overall, he looks pretty good. And then here he is from the side. Here's a look at Gomez from the back. Here's the other side and back around to the front. All right, getting in close to see the details on the new head sculpt, which is referred to as their comic head sculpt. So much more cartoony looking and a little bit more expressive but it's pretty cool looking. And then you'll see, so there's a battery pack in the back. And so you pull the back piece off and then there's two batteries, really tiny batteries that you insert in there. And then you pop it on and there's a little button on the back and the eyes light up like this. But the only issue is that you can't keep the light on. So that's kind of annoying. It would be cool if you could just click it and then click it again and it would stay on or something. Um, but unfortunately that's not a feature I did take for my, for my, um, thumbnail photo, I did take a toothpick and wedge it in there and pressed it on and sort of like just wedged it on, which is a temporary fix. Um, and obviously you're going to see a toothpick tip sticking out of there if you don't have the right angle, but for the most part, it worked out fairly well. It just would be nice if it was just a switch to turn on. And then here's a regular Gomez head next to it, just so that you can see that, you know, that difference in size in the head sculpts and shape. All right, looking at the rest of the figure, he's got a cool sweater on, black sweater. It's got these shoulder pad Velcro areas up here. Uh, and there's a few spots with Velcro, the front of the belt on the inside and then the top up here. And that just keeps everything nice and secure. And I do really like the paintwork on the harness. There's like a nice leathery look to it and a, a gray accent color. Um, so it feels a little more fancy paint than, than the other, than the other Gomez, uh, than the other Hazard Squad commander. And then you got these brown pants on, cargo shorts with these different pouches and so on. It's a great body. 
and it's going to be really fun. I can't wait to see what people do with kit bashing. I mean, just going from Hazard Squad Commander to Hazard Squad Commander, you could swap out all of these like leather parts and then have like different ranks and stuff if you wanted to do that. I mean, I don't know how many people have a bunch of these, but you could do different ranks. And then I really like the boots on this release. These are nice and they have some really good articulation in those feet as well. So great looking boots. Figure looks really cool. Again, the head's a little large, but it doesn't really ruin it for me. It's just a preference that I would rather have it be a little bit of a smaller head. Okay, let's take a look at the gold commander next to a few other figures. First off, here he is next to the blue commander and the Gomez of Death. Here he is next to the black Baron Benz and the Black Skull's Death Brigade with a head swap. A couple bigger guys, Krig, Blood Force, and the Batman Darkest Dawn. And then just a couple other lines. On the left is the movie realization Ronin Mandalorian. On the right is a Barbarian from Mythic Legions. For accessories, he comes with this alternate head sculpt and it's got like a screaming face. And then this one also lights up, if I can find the button, there you go. So another really cool looking head. Again, this one's large, um, not my preference, but not terrible either. And it does come with the stand and the flight arm, as well as a whole bunch of different hands. I'm not gonna work through all of them, but it's got pretty much all the usual Gomez hands, including the middle finger, um, you know, the barrel cradling hand. So even ones that aren't necessarily gonna go perfectly with the weapons he comes with. It's I think it's got most of the Gomez hands, except for the Gomez of Death hand that that like grips the beating heart. But yeah, there you go. A whole bunch of different hands of various grips and expressions. Next up, the various accessories he comes with. He's got the the wrist com thing that kind of like has a hinge and you can put it on his wrist. Um, and there's a little instruction sheet that goes along with it and it kind of tells you to put it above the wrist cuff. I actually found tucking the wrist cuff in, I kind of like preferred that. Um, but yeah, it has the wrist cuff on the outside, like the sleeve on the outside there. And then you can slide it up once it's on there. So I'll pop it on there and show you what it looks like. And so here I have it, how, how I like it to sit a little bit lower. Um, I feel like it allows a little more range in the elbow. And then um, I don't like seeing that sleeve sticking out the bottom of it, but you could have it go either way. And so this has a little slot right here and you can take various accessories like, for example, this piece right here, plug that in there. And then you can pop the uh, sort of grapple hook type thing in there that goes along with this zip line piece right here. And then the zip line actually has a two ended wire or string that you can, um, you know, have him play, sort of a play feature, have him going down on it. He's also got a little heads up display piece that you can pop in there. Mine doesn't sit in there very secure, but I think it's because the shirt's underneath. He's also got this little piece here that can plug in. Um, and again, it, they don't stay in well. Um, I will say this, they did provide some rubber bands. <laughs> it's kind of silly, um, but they did provide a little bag of clear rubber bands if you need some extra help getting things to stay in there for proposing and whatnot. Um, but yeah, so this little piece, it says that it's a, uh, it's a radio wire, uh, storage. I don't, I don't know totally what it means, but I know that this piece fits in there. And again, it doesn't stay in well. So this piece tends to fall out, but once you get it in there, you can see it's some sort of radio wire. I don't know if it attaches to the, to boom, boom, but we'll get to boom, boom in a minute. So yeah, I think that does it for the wrist com attachment. Uh, another attachment that he comes with is this magnetic piece here that communicates with the void. And so that actually magnetizes to his head. It's called his third antenna. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's a pretty neat little piece right there. And it's it's nicely detailed, very intricate sculpt work there. Uh, another swap out piece he has is this grenade holder that he can use to put grenades on his arm. So he could swap that out here or possibly put it on his other arm so that he's got two. And then the grenades that come with it are these little guys. Let me do this and then you can kind of get a s sense of what it looks like, this little grenade right here. Got a little smiley face on it. But you can put two grenades into this armband. And again, the, the leather looks good and it's got some nice paint details. So very intricately painted 
um, straps and whatnot. And so he technically comes with other characters. He comes with Pigeon, who is, I don't know, his sidekick or something like that. Um, and Pigeon has holes, and then you can peg them onto this flight stand. And so you could put that behind them on the flight stand with the pigeons going there. So there's two versions, one with the spread wings and, and this other one. And the other character it comes with is Retro Style Boom Boom. And Boom Boom can open up to reveal a computer access area inside there. And I do like the color scheme, the gold and black on this. Very cool piece. And the handle turns as well. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention his two weapons. <laughs> um, he comes with the Cosmic Pea Shooter, which is actually like an exact match to the, um, to the Five Points version. It's just scaled up. So that's a really cool pistol right there. And that'll go right into his holster. And then he's got his Ram Bowie knife. And that's nicely detailed on the handle. And that will go right into a sheath on his back. Um, and if you ever want to remove the belt, right below this pouch here next to the knife, there's a plug. So you can unplug it and you could remove it. Just be aware that there's Velcro under here and then there's Velcro at the top there. So at some point, I'll probably do some swaps. In fact, let's do one quick swap right now, which is gonna to be to put the blue-eyed head onto the original Hazard Squad Gomez. And let's take a look and see how that, let's see how that looks. So that's kind of cool. So you could do the blue eyes on there, and then you could swap the black eyes, and you could have a little bit of a different option for your for your uh, commanders. So that's kind of neat. They mix and match really well. And I think too, you could probably do some mixing and matching with the, with the straps and whatnot too. And then this is how that grenade piece looks on his shoulder. And finally, let's take a look at the articulation. So like, like all the Gomez figures, this articulation is awesome. Um, the head can look way down, way up, tons of movement. The larger head does not get in the way of any of that stuff. So a lot of great motion up in that head. Of course, the shoulders can swing way up. Just a lot of range in these Gomez bodies. I do believe this is the same Gomez body as all the others. You can swing down, double jointed elbows. The wrists can swivel and then they hinge on that sort of ball joint type wrist peg. Um, twist at the top of the shoulder there. And this has a nice, kind of like all of the material is fairly loose. And so it's not gonna get in the way of the articulation really at all. Up in the torso, you've got a nice crunch up and back, and then you can twist. And then there's a, there's a crunch at the waist. So put those together and you can crunch forward pretty far. And then you can arch back quite a bit. And again, side to side. And yeah, just a lot of great range of motion on these Gomez bodies. It's the same body as their Spider-Man, so it makes sense. And then he can kick forward, he can kick back, he can go out into the splits. You can twist at the top of the leg, double jointed knee. Down into the boot, there's no twist. Uh, I think this is probably one of those ones with a square peg, like I get no movement at all unless it's glued. And then um, at the at the foot, he can rock his ankles quite a bit. You will get a little bit of gap there on the outside if you go to the full extent of that articulation, but it doesn't bother me really. He can point his foot down. He can point his foot back up. And they twist as well. So great range of motion on the Gomez figures. Anyway, awesome release. I highly recommend it. I don't recommend paying like $300 or whatever, whatever, I'm sure it's not that high, but whatever the aftermarket is, it, usually it's too high for my recommendation. But, you know, if you can get on the wait list, I would definitely recommend that. Anyway, thanks for watching my video. And until next time, may the force be with you. Follow me.